so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Today, we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. Yeah, <laughs> here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, Julia! Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please! Oh, no! I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, wow. 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. Let's do it. All right, yep. see you see later. You to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Wow. Whoa. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, wow. They even have alpacas! Hey! Whoa, they're so cute! Whoa! Oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa! Wow, they're such healthy eaters! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah, <laughs> I, think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah, <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Oh yeah. <gasps> Blippi, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, All let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, 
Oh, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. Ah, and it smells so good. Wow, and rosemary is actually edible. So that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle. So I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see. How about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. And then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a Popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground you have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. <sighs> hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's Popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> oh, look. One of my favorite fruits of all time, strawberries. See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, I should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm. 
It's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do, I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum, can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome, and some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes. So yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second, it's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you wanna do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there, just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> All right. All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be pretty loud. So are you ready? All right. I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. Is it done? It's done. Wow. It does look green. All right. You're going to love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> Smells so sweet. Yep. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at-home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at home. Oh, cool, at home pops, here we go. Hey, do you wanna count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. That sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. I think be so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And there the great part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So, what did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep. That's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're going to make? Beats me. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought 
all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So, beets are very interesting ingredients. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well. So, we're just gonna turn it on. And you can throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool! And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa! It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And you can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah, <laughs> Lippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right, might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay. Now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apple, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good Ooh. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -I -P -P -I. Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippy. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy! And today, I'm here at the Postal Museum in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because they have 
play areas, postal games, and even a mail train. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see what it's like to be a postal worker. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in the postal play place. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so fun. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Did you see what it is? The post office. Hmm, we should go inside and see if we can help send out some mail. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> looks like there's a lot of packages here and a lot of letters. Well, we want to make sure all the packages can be sent out but we need to make sure they're weighed to see how heavy they are first. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> this one looks good to me. <laughs> no way, check it out. These packages are animals. Whoa, look, this package is a giraffe. <laughs> it has a really long neck. <laughs> well, this is a fun package to send. <laughs> and <gasps> no way. Do you know what kind of package this is? It's an elephant. <laughs> well, that's cool too. <laughs> a teacup? <laughs> well, that's pretty yummy. Hmm, would you like some tea too? <laughs> Blippi tea party! Woo! <laughs> well, just kidding. It's just a package shaped like a teacup. <laughs> well, I think we can find a place to deliver this letter. Yeah, hmm. keep your eyes open. <laughs> It looks like we're here in London. Well, little London. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of things in the city, like a house plant, <laughs> whoa, and a comfy couch. Ooh, <laughs> look, oh, it's a red and yellow delivery truck. <laughs> oh, looks like the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, it has one, two little horses. <laughs> Traffic jam. <laughs> well, let's keep looking for a place to put the letter. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. There are all kinds of blocks. Maybe we can build a giant British castle. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. Yeah, you see it? So big. <laughs> yeah, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> knocked it down? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, and since we're here in London, can't forget the red phone booth. Ooh. Let's see how many we can find. One, two, nine, 10, 11, 12. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we found 12. That is way too many phone booths. <laughs> but good thing we still have our letter. Hmm. Hello, kitty cat, hello. See, it's a kitty cat. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Wonder where we'll go next. <laughs> Hello, Double Decker Bus. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, no way. I think I see where we can send our letter out. <gasps> it's a post box. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Letter away. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh look! A red hat and hmm, a red post office vest. One arm and two arms. Woo! Ready for work. <laughs> Whoa! That is a lot of mail to send. <laughs> well, good thing we're really good at delivering mail, so this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, let's get all the mail. Here we go.
Okay, I got all the mail, but we need to pay for it, so I'll see you on the other side of the town. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is a lot of mail! <laughs> yeah, and we can ring it up right here at the register. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, we paid for the mail to get delivered so that the post office workers and the delivery men can get paid too. <laughs> well, now we gotta deliver all of this. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, we did it. <laughs> now we just need to deliver all of these letters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a lot of work working at the post office. <laughs> But it sure is fun because I'm with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. We have all the packages, letters, envelopes, but they need to be sorted before we can mail them out. <laughs> oh, well, good thing the sorting office is right over there. Oh, yeah, when we go in the sorting office, we can sort the mail. <laughs> Now, let's deliver the letters. Oh, I see some houses. Wait a minute, this house is really tiny. <laughs> That's because, look, it's a mouse house. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, there's a yellow house, a red house, and an orange house. <laughs> yeah, they have some pretty colorful roofs. <laughs> okay, here's your mail. One, two, three letters delivered. <laughs> Whoa, but look at this. Hmm, this is a pretty interesting looking jacket. And, <gasps> whoa, it's a giant sack of letters. Huh, big bag of letters and interesting jacket. <laughs> we'll have to try it on. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> But I wonder what this is all for. Hmm. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name's Andy. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Andy. <laughs> well, we've been having a lot of fun today, but I've never seen a jacket like this before. So that's the sort of jacket a letter carrier would wear a long time ago. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I love delivering letters. <laughs> and maybe we can pretend to be a letter carrier from a really long time ago with our bag of letters <laughs> and our cool jacket. <laughs> well, do you think we could deliver some more letters? We have a challenge for you. A challenge? A postal challenge. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> We'd like you to deliver these three letters into three different post boxes around the museum. Oh, that sounds really fun. Well, we found some post boxes. I bet we can find some more. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, a real challenge. Postal challenge. <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. No problem. Good okay. luck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I just can't wait to deliver these letters. <laughs> and I love the mail. But do you see where we are? <laughs> yeah, we're in a tunnel. Whoa. <laughs> this tunnel, there used to be trains. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> yeah, all kinds. Diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah, and this is the train depot. Yeah, that's where trains would come to get fixed up. <laughs> yeah, if they were broken or just needed a tune up, they could come here to get all fixed. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see a train over here. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's a train! It's a red train, but it looks kind of small. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's because this train track used to have mail trains. Whoa, yeah. Mail trains were trains that helped deliver the mail, letters, and packages, too. <laughs> yeah, and this track used to go from Paddington all the way to Whitechapel in London. Ooh. <laughs> 
and it would help the letters and whatever mail needed to get delivered get delivered more easily. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> hmm. But wait a minute. Mail trains didn't have any seats for people. Yeah, that's because the mail trains were filled with mail. <laughs> but it looks like this train has chairs and seats. Whoa. Well, we need to deliver some letters. Maybe this train can help us deliver them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this right here? <laughs> it's a really big battery. So I bet this train goes really fast. <laughs> yeah, they used to be electric, but now battery power. <laughs> okay, let's get in the train. Can't wait to deliver these letters. Whoa, we're in the train. Well, it's so small in here. I can put my letters there and squeeze in right here. Whoa, this is so fun. Yeah, traveling in a train underground. Whoa. Oh, look at it! It's so old here! <laughs> I can't wait to deliver the letter! <laughs> oh, it's getting really dark! Yeah, the ceiling is so low because we're in a really tiny train! <laughs> yeah, we can imagine that we are a package or maybe a letter from a really long time ago! <laughs> this is fun being male! I think I see something up ahead. <laughs> Whoa, we made it to a platform. <laughs> Let's get out and deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun riding on the train. <laughs> and look at where we are. We're here at the mail station. This is where the mail trains get all their packages and mail. <laughs> This place is awesome! Check it out! <laughs> These are the mail train tracks. Yeah, this is the tracks that the mail trains would deliver the mail on. <laughs> They're so small! Well, that's because the mail train is really small too. <laughs> and you see this part? Yeah, the tracks cross. Yeah, they make little X shapes. <laughs> that's because the mail trains sometimes need to change directions. So it's easy for the operator to move the trains around. <laughs> no way! An actual 1920s mail conveyor belt! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, the mail station is underneath the mail sorting area. Yeah, it's kind of where they would sort all the mail and letters and things so that people would get the right letters. <laughs> yeah, it would go on this conveyor belt right here. Oh, check it out! <laughs> this is where the mail chute is. The letters would go down the chute, over the conveyor belt, onto the trolley, <laughs> and then onto the mail train. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! <laughs> We've been trying to deliver a letter, and look at what it is! It's a post box! <laughs> yeah! Now we can deliver the first letter. First letter, it says, hello from London. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Whoa, oh, hi Andy. Hi Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, a red and green car. Well, Andy, what's this? This is our pneumatic train game. What you do is you turn the handle, that powers the fan, and then the air pushes the car up the tube. Oh, that's amazing. So these are air powered? Yeah, these are powered by air. Whoa. Pneumatic is the word for that. Pneumatic? Whoa, that's a pretty funny looking word. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Andy, there's a red car right here and a green car right here. One for you and one for me. Do you think we can race? We can have a competition. Okay, <laughs> shall we start? Are you ready? One, two, three, race! Whoa, Andy, 
You won! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're really good at this. <laughs> well, it's really fun to play with some toy cars in a pneumatic tube, but I see this big picture here. It has a really big pneumatic tube. What's this? So this is a small version of a real life version they built on the banks of the River Thames in London a long time ago. Whoa. And it was designed to carry mail before the mail route. No way. So these little cars, they weren't for people, they were just for mail? Just for mail. But this version could uh, uh, occasionally carry people. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just rode the mail train. <laughs> but I guess before there was a train, they used these tubes, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Well, Andy, it was so fun racing you with our pneumatic tube cars. <laughs> but I have some more letters to deliver. Well, thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo, let's go deliver some mail. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in a traveling post office. Yeah, this was a train car on a big train. It's kind of like the mail rail, but it's not as small. <laughs> Yeah, and you see right here, this is where a post office worker might sort all the different mail. <laughs> and look, there are letters right here. Ooh, this one has an airplane on it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. This one has a car. Honk, honk. <laughs> hmm. And this one has a little puppy dog. <laughs> Oh, hey, I think it's a game. I think we need to sort all these letters into the right spots. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Puppy dog and puppy dog. <laughs> car and car and airplane and airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, look, do you see it? The floor is moving. <laughs> I bet it was really tricky being a traveling post office worker. Yeah, because the floor would move so fast and the train would go so fast. And it would also be kind of noisy too. <laughs> oh, well, that reminds me, we have another letter to deliver. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in a post box. Ooh, I see one over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I think we need to get off this train. It's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun delivering all these letters. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, tubes. <laughs> hmm, but these aren't just any tubes. These are pneumatic tubes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, pneumatic means anything that uses air. Yeah, and a pneumatic tube used to help deliver the mail. <laughs> yeah, it used air kind of like a vacuum. At the end of the tube, a motor sucked out all the air and then the mail would shoot through the tube. <laughs> yeah, it would travel in one of these canisters. Ooh, and it looks like someone wrote a letter already. <laughs> it says, hi. Ooh, I bet Andy wrote this letter. <laughs> Hey, maybe we can send it back to Andy and say, hello. <laughs> okay, let's try. Yeah, you open up the tube here, put in the canister and... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and look, Whoa, it's gone. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty fun. It's a pretty amazing way for mail to travel. Ooh, but wait a minute. I have an idea. What if we wrote a letter to Mika and sent it through the pneumatic tube? <laughs> okay, let's try it. First, we just need a piece of paper and an envelope, a pen, ooh, and a tube. Oh, a canister for the tube. <laughs> okay, hmm. What should we write? Dear Mika, ooh, I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> I am having so much fun in London at the Postal Museum. <laughs> hmm. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Your best friend, <laughs> Bolippy. <laughs> okay, then we just need to fold this up. <laughs> and 
We'll put it in this envelope. <laughs> then we can put the envelope in the canister. Just open it up, put it in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we can send it to Mika. Hello, Mika, here you go. <laughs> It worked! <laughs> That's gonna be a really long trip to Mika. <laughs> well, anyway, we have some more letters to deliver. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if we can find another post box. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's one right here. And good thing we have oh, <laughs> our last letter. Yeah, letter number three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! I had so much fun delivering letters, playing games, and learning what it's like to be a postal worker here at the Postal Museum! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay! <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! <laughs>, Brazil! Wow! This place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go! <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one, this one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Carrots! Interesting! <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too! And I heard that these ponies love carrots! Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go! Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa! They are hungry! Whoa! I guess ponies love carrots! Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Aww. <laughs> All right, here you go. Whoa! And did you see this one? Yeah! Look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa! It's braided! Whoa, it's so cute! Whoa! You don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right! Well, let me set this right here, and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. Yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals. Come on. 
<laughs> Hello! Whoa! This is a llama! Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here. Check it out. Yeah, a big white bucket of llama food. Whoa, here you go. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa, llamas are so cool. <laughs> yeah, they actually, whoa. <laughs> okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit, but llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Oh, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Oh, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo is hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No? I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. <laughs> Whoa, look, that ostrich was Big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Whoa, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Whoa, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was cool! Whoa! Chickens! Wow! Here you go! Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go! Are you hungry? Yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry! Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go! Whoa, I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens. Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown, and it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small. And it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> 
Whoa! Yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one. Just relaxing? Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Oh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Oh, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Pawapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Pawapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, power peaky house. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Power peaky house music party. That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa, it is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Whoa, well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa, whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey, and actually they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Okay, let me put this on. Oh, there we go, all right. Hey, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Oh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Whoa. And they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah. <laughs> You are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. 
Whoa! Speaking of animals, whoa! Look at this! Yeah, hey! Looks like a big cow, right? Whoa! <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers. It has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Whoa, are you hungry? Whoa, he's so big. Here you go. You want some food? Whoa, I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Can I pet you? Oh! Wow! His nose feels so nice. Whoa! What about your head? Oh! Do you like pets? Yeah! Some animals to take care of them. Yeah! You want to pet them and love them. Ooh! And you can even brush them. Yeah! Some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Whoa! Or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah! Give the animal some food. Whoa! Whoa! It's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. <laughs> Do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, look right here. Yeah, remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah, looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, hey, another animal. Whoa, ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, jumentos and donkeys, yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys, hey! Whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? You like the pet? Did you see how I didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name? is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Juka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> and you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Juka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground! Whoa! I do love playing! All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play! Whoa! Look at this! Looks like you climb inside. Whoa! 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 It's pretty wobbly. Whoa! Whoa! Look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide! I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa! Whoa! I got a little stuck. 
Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Trampoline! Oh, and it's so colorful! Woohoo! Yeah! I love trampolines! Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia! Woohoo! Yeah! Look at me! I'm a kangaroo! Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful! And they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is Ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah, a frog. And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs. Woohoo! Ribbit. 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 Oh, frogs are so cool. I've had so much fun today. Whoa. Whoa. I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe. And then, here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals. And I also love to play. Yeah! Whoa, check it out. Some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important. To hydrate. <laughs> Today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. <laughs> mm. Well, this was so much fun. And if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we are here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because you and I get to learn about planes. Whoa, <laughs> planes are awesome. Yeah, they're things that people have built so you can fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, can you think of something else that flies in the sky? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, birds. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I think planes are so cool because they let people fly just like birds. And today, we get to see some really awesome planes. Come on. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This plane is so big. It's called the Short Sutherland MR5. Wow, and check it out. It has massive propellers. <laughs> yeah, two on each wing, two on one wing, and two on the other wing. Two and two means four propellers what? <laughs> Not so many. <laughs> Whoa. And this plane is really big. Yeah, it's 30 feet tall. Oh, <laughs> and 85 feet long. <laughs> yeah, and it has a wingspan of 112 feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm, it looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the 
The windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah. And there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are float planes and flying boats. <laughs> yeah. A float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it's made of metal. It's so musical. <laughs> Whoa. That is awesome. It's really important that the short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep exploring! <laughs> helicopter. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> this is fun. Driving the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, it's so bright and yellow. Yeah! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah! Whoa! It is so cool and so bright. Yeah, it's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah, and it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> Wow! You see up there? Look! It's a really big propeller! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy, <laughs> it'll be able to make it through the storm. Oh, hmm. and what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and you see there's a window. That window's really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, 
look at it, the most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah. This is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto. Yeah. So they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah. They just grab on tight and whoa, <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa. <laughs> Once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack, <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow, look at it. There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa, helicopters are awesome. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Look at where we are. We're inside of a hangar. Yeah, a hangar is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa, and look at this jet. Let's go look at the cockpit. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. This jet is called the Tornado. <laughs> Whoa. And it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Ring, ring. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits. And he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big and so cool. <laughs> hey. And look here, it has really big wings. Whoa, huh. And it looks like the wings can open up. Yeah, they open up so the plane can do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low. Sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa. <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. Yeah. Whoa, and look at the back of the tornado. Whoa, <laughs> this is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look, this one doesn't have an engine in it right now. But look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> it's so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think. This is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer. Yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look. The wing, they fold, <laughs> yeah. They fold just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper, <laughs> yeah. They fold so you can fit lots of plane tight together on an aircraft carrier, yeah. And look, it has really big wheels and tires, <laughs> kind of like a car, but that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway, <laughs> whoa. It's so big. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see another plane, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, do you see the plane hanging above me? Yeah, it's called a Harrier. <laughs> yeah, a Harrier. Whoa, it's also called a jump plane. Hmm, a jump plane? <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay, 
Let's jump like a jump plane. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah! Instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <coughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa! That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see it? Hmm! Do you see another plane? Hmm! I see one too! It's enormous! It's gigantic! It's the Hercules! <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! It has a really big nose! Oh, yeah! That's what the front of a jet or plane is called. The nose! <laughs> yeah! And this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks. What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Mach 2. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey, why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. Look at what I'm wearing! This is an actual flight jacket! <laughs> yeah! This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! And check it out! Come on! <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes! It's a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! Oh look! And there's a person! Let's go say hello! <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And it's camouflage. Whoa, <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue on the, on the, on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa, blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Check it out! I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! This is so cool! Whoa! Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah. So they tell you like how fast you're going or how much fuel you have or even where you're going. Whoa, that's so cool! It looks like there's all these different dials, and levers and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says. Throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa. <laughs> faster and slower. 
Wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about the Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> you're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes, and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah! And this simulator simulates, or makes it feel like, they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground. And we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. OK. B L I. P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to go on water slides. <laughs> yeah, they're really colorful. Ooh, and maybe we'll even get to try out some other fun water activities. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! This place is awesome! There are so many fun slides here! And I just found the tallest slide in the park! Yeah, it's really tall, and it's called Hamlul's Humps! <laughs> yeah! Well, that's the name of the camel, Hamlul! Hey, have you seen a camel before? They're pretty amazing animals! Yeah, a camel has a hump! Ooh! Oh, I get it! <laughs> That's why they named the slide Hamel's Humps, because the slide has lots of humps. <laughs> humps just like a camel. Oh, I bet this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, this ride is so tall. Oh, hi. Hi. What's your name? Ian. Oh, I'm Blippi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh, and is this Hamel's Humps? Yes, as you can see, you see the humps? Oh, represent a camel. Oh yeah, just like a camel. <laughs> well, is there anything I need to know before I ride? Of course, everything. We need to be safe, right? Oh yeah, safety first. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Cross your arms. Okay. Your shoulders. Whoop. Now then cross your legs. Oh. <laughs> and then when you're ready to go, you lie back and push yourself away. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> this looks so fun. Okay, are you ready? your legs and your arms to be nice and safe. Whoa, and check it out. This is how you get on the ride. Yeah, 
the tube opens up, I stand inside, cross my arms and legs, <laughs> and then there's a trap door that opens and I go down the slide. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to try it. <gasps> Please. I'll be at the bottom. Place your arm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three, two, one. love spending the day at the water park. <laughs> it's so much fun going on slides, water rides. Whoa, looks like there's some really colorful slides here. <laughs> yeah, they're all different colors. Whoa, <laughs> that one is purple, red. The other one is blue and white. Ooh, and look at this one, it's purple and green. <laughs> Whoa, and you see the one in the center? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, it's my two favorite colors. Blue and orange! Whoa! <laughs> These slides are pretty cool. And do you know what animal they are? <laughs> yeah! They're snakes! Woo! <laughs> I like snakes because they're so slithery. <laughs> hey! You know how many snakes there are? Hey, let's count them together. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, Six! Yeah! Six snakes! Ooh. You know what else has six things? Hmm, can you guess? <laughs> yeah, my name! Blippi! <laughs> B L I B P I! Six letters in my name! <laughs> well, this is so fun! I can't wait! I think I'm gonna ride the blue and orange slide! Okay? <laughs> I'll go up and I'll see you soon! <laughs> went down the blue and orange slide. <laughs> I've had so much fun going on lots of slides, but there are other things we can do here too. Hmm, can you guess what I'm going to do next? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Well, it has lots of waves, you need a board, and you need lots of balance. <laughs> yeah, surfing. <laughs> Woo, maybe there'll be a teacher who can help us become really, really good at surfing. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. Hello. Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? I'm Alex, lifeguard. Ooh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Hmm. And you're a lifeguard? Yeah. Oh, what's this in your hand? This is for the board. Oh, a body board. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you mind if I hold one? No problem. <laughs> Look, it's my two favorite colors. Blue and orange. Yeah, it's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, do you think you could help me ride one of these? Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you ride it lying down like this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Same cool. thing like I told you, hold tight. One over this side, only the shoulder. This side, same thing. Don't put your legs up flat on the ground, okay? Oh. So when you get used to the wave, you will go advanced. Advanced? That's when you go to your knee. <laughs> oh, right. that's awesome. Yeah, spread yourself. <laughs> that this looks really tricky. tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just has got your base straight like this, okay? So you wanna go this side, same thing. Slightly, this side, slightly. You wanna go up, a little bit, back. You wanna go down, you have to bend like this, okay? Ooh. Still looking to the guest, don't look down, okay? Whoa, like that this. sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there is one safety rule here. This is when you get washed away. You just have to fold yourself like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. If I fall off the bodyboard, I just need to cover up like this so I'm nice and safe. Well, I think I know everything. Hold tight to the board. Make sure you keep your elbows in. Lie flat. And if you feel really confident, <laughs> you can try the advanced position by getting on your knees. <laughs> Whew, I think I'm ready to try it. All right, no worries. I'll switch on for you. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! 
Welcome! I had so much fun with you today here at Yes Water World. <laughs> we did so many cool things like go down really tall slides <laughs> and we even learned how to ride the bodyboard. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go! B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P Bullippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! Bye bye <laughs> Woo! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun! Blippi! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout! Blippi!